Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I'm bringing you a review of the Bodum Bean Cold Brew Coffee Press. Coffee maker. It's a coffee press. Now this is not a sponsored review at all. I bought it on my own. It was $9.99 at Target. And if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know how obsessed I am with coffee and how much I love it. And in the summertime, I love a cold brew. Now, cold brew is different than iced coffee. Iced coffee, you brew the coffee, put it in the fridge or pour it over ice and you make it cold. Cold brew is actually brewed cold. And I'll walk you through that process and then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge overnight and then in the morning we're going to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looked like at the store. And in this box came this container, very sturdy plastic, um, a nice rubbery gripped handle, very well made, not cheap at all. So there was that. Um, this was on top of it. So it kind of looked like this when it came out of the packaging with the directions locked inside more of that in a minute the directions were locked in and then this was separate this is the lid that you put on to let it sit overnight now like many a Bodum product their directions are poor at best I own the Bodum frother I love this brand I had to Google and YouTube how to get the thing apart to put in my batteries. I was about ready to break it and I would have been really sad. So just be aware if you're buying Bodum products, their directions are not the greatest, but the products are good. So like I said, this was locked inside and this was together. And it took me a good 10, 15 minutes to figure out that you have to turn the lid I would pull up that, pull up your plunger, and then the lid comes off easily. If the plunger is all the way down, you're gonna break it. I almost did. So you wanna pull the plunger all the way up, make sure you've unlocked it, and then pull it apart. There's that. Now, cold brew, super easy. I'm gonna put three quarters of a cup of coffee grounds into this. I'm going to fill this up with filtered water from my refrigerator, pour it in here. I figured I'm gonna put it to this right here. You plop, excuse me. You plop this lid on top, it doesn't lock on, you just sit there, and you put it in your refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. And what the grounds do is they cold brew. So they just cold filter. They're gonna float around in here. You wanna stir it out. They're gonna float. It's gonna look murky and yucky. And you let it sit overnight. And when you take it out of the fridge, and I'll show you here in a little bit, you get fresh coffee. And cold brew to me is more smooth than a iced coffee. I like either one. That's not, let's not split hairs here. I like coffee, but I prefer a cold brew. Now, why did I buy a machine when I could buy these packages? And what these are, they're coffee in filter bags. So you put two of these in here and let it do the same thing. However, this box I purchased came with two bags, was $7 and I'm gonna get two pictures. That's it. I can buy a bag of flavored coffee, regular coffee, whatever coffee I want, make my own and get at least three to six batches, depending on how strong you like it, for $5.99, $6, whatever you're paying for your local, you know, $3.75 if I use Aldi or $3.79 if I use Aldi coffee. So honestly, it's much more cost effective to have a machine like this. I call it a machine. I mean, it is a machine, but. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the steps, put it in the refrigerator, and then I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. Oh, and just as a side note, this all comes apart and it washes up great. I put it in the sink with some soapy water to clean it before I use it. It's great. And this filter is mesh and it's metal, very sturdy. And these little, um, this little silicone here, 
will keep your coffee grounds from coming up, hopefully. That's the goal, but we'll see. All right, I'll be back. All right, everybody, it's been 24 hours. I just pulled out, well, probably 18 hours. I just pulled out the bottom. Um, I will tell you, it's nice and cool. It's very solid. It's plastic, but it's hard. All right, so we're gonna take this lid off. Hi, buddy. And you get some of the coffee grounds. And it just says wash it in soapy water. So I have a sink full of soapy water over here. That's what it's gonna look like. It's a little thin. And that could be my measurements. I might need more coffee for this size, like a whole cup, depending on the coffee. Now, if you can see in here, which I'm not sure if you can, there's a little plastic nubbies. This is what locks the lid on that took me 20 minutes or whatever to figure out. And inside here, then it goes down and then you turn the lid to lock it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna sit you on top. And it does have arrows out here, letting us know. And then we turned it and it's now locked in place. So I just drop the lid down and then you turn it and now it's locked. This is your plunger. When you push this plunger, it's gonna push all the coffee grounds in theory to the bottom. So we're gonna do that. And you wanna do it pretty slowly because I feel like if you do it super fast, you're gonna end up forcing grounds into your mix. But we're gonna check that out. So we're looking pretty good here. Hi, buddy. And we're all the way at the bottom, which is great. Let me grab my little filter. Because we want to see, here's my cup. Actually, let me do a clear cup. We'll do a little bit into this cup here. Because we want to see if any coffee grounds without, you know, just we've just poured it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, got to push the plunger. I'm not seeing any coffee grounds. Oh, that's amazing. Now, it's very weak. Definitely need more coffee but it smells delicious. There's no need for me to run it through a filter because I can see there's no coffee grounds in there. Let me put some ice in this cup. And we're... All right, for this size cup, a straw, I would say I'm gonna try two sweetener packets. And this is Sweet Additions. I get it at Aldi. It's your your Erythritol and Stevia blend. Um, you don't want to buy the big boxes of loot or the bags because they add fillers. Okay, so we are going to pour us a cup. With here, I should just pour this in. Don't waste cold brew. It does take all night, you know. And then I'll put some creamer in it because that's how I drink mine. And this is buttery caramel, uh, Aldi, no Target brand. Next time I will definitely use a full cup of grounds. So we are not gonna need a lot of creamer because the coffee's pretty weak. And that's just my measurements. That has nothing to do with the bottom press. All right, I have a cup of uh, cold brew. It's delicious. You get that buttery caramel because I use flavored coffee. It's very smooth. That's delicious. And I would definitely highly recommend the Bodum uh, cold brew coffee press. It's amazing. Um, I won't store my coffee in this. You can, it looks like, but I won't. Um, I want to wash it out and clean it up. But yeah, if you uh, like cold brew coffee, I highly recommend the Bodum. All right, everybody, have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.